Praise God and hallelujah. We give God all the glory. Our Lord and our Master, we just want to exalt you because of your faithfulness. You rule and you reign supreme. I will say thank you, Jesus. Throughout the night, O oh God, all we know is that we were laid on our bed, O oh God, by how we slept and how we woke up, we do not know. It is all by your grace, Father. We thank you for your mercies that are new every morning. Thank you for having your way, O oh God, in our lives and making this day, O oh God, possible for us to live. Thank you, Jesus. You have made us understand it is not by our might, nor by our power. It is by your spirit. Therefore, Lord Jesus, today, once again, we pray that you speak to us. Precious Holy Spirit, speak to us, O God, so we'll understand you better. Father, I pray, O God, for those who are looking for the fruits of the womb. Father Jesus, we we'll look unto you, we we'll cling unto you, and we know that, Lord, you will give unto them, because you are our supplier. You give unto each and every one of us what is due and what we need. Thank you so much for doing this also for us, so that together with those who, who are already pregnant, O oh God, on their day of delivery, my Lord, you will send your angels to deliver them safely. Thank you in Jesus' mighty name. We have prayed with thanksgiving. Hallelujah. Brethren in the Lord, I welcome you once again to the program, How Do You Understand the Word of God? We will take our devotional reading from First Samuel chapter 3, the verses 1 to 10. The heading says, The Lord speaks to Samuel. We all remember the mother of Samuel. Hannah, she prayed and asked God for a child, and God gave her Samuel, and she promised the, the Lord that she would dedicate the child to the Lord. So the Bible says that after he had been weaned, after he has been weaned, she took this little boy to Eli. Eli did not even recognize her. She did, he did not recognize her, so she had to... She had to tell her all about when she met him in the temple. And Eli remembered her. And um, Samuel was seven, was assisting Eli. Eli was an old man. But Samuel, as little as he was, was serving him. This, this priest had children. But because his children were disobedient, because the Lord was angry with them, he also made it possible for Samuel to be born so that Samuel will save, so that he can use Samuel. So we see here that God called Samuel even before he was born. In the same way we have been called before we were, we, we were born. Yes, God said he knew us before we were formed. Brethren in the Lord, this little Samuel did not know anything about the Lord. So one day God called him. The first, second and third times he went to Eli to ask whether he was calling him. So Eli realized that it was God who was calling the little boy. So he told him, when you hear the voice again, just say, Master speak for your servant heareth. And so the little boy did the same, and God spoke to him. When we read from verse 11 onwards, we see that God spoke to him concerning the calamity he was bringing unto Israel. And what the Lord told him was so heavy, was so heavy, he was even afraid to tell Eli. So when we continue, although our passage is to verse 10, but we'll continue from 11, it says, Then the Lord said to Samuel, I'm about to do a shocking thing in Israel. I am going to carry out all my threats against Eli and his family from beginning to end. I have warned him that that judgment is coming upon his family forever because his sons are blaspheming God and he hasn't disciplined them. So I have vowed that the saints of Eli and his sons will never be forgiven by sacrifices or offerings. So we see the reason why when Jesus came, he had to go into the depths of the uh, depths of hell to preach to those who were to spirits who are also dead. Yes, so that everyone will hear the gospel, because there are some sins 
in the Old Testament that they used sacrifices, but this particular sin, sacrifices could not make God forgive. Brethren in the Lord, little Samuel was obedient and do exa did exactly what Eli told him. Let us humble ourselves before the Lord and pay reverence to our leaders. Let us respect our leaders, obey them, and then allow God to speak through them to us. God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen.